Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion noob build. This is where you're a noob to the game and you want a build for the race you picked. Today, we're going over the Fishman Argonian. Let's get right into it. For your sign, you're going to pick the Thief. For your specialization, you're going to pick Stealth. For your two attributes, you're going to do Endurance and Speed. Normally, when you make a custom class in Oblivion, you have seven major skills, but I'm only going to give you four. Uh, what I want you to do is, if you're noob to this game, take the other three and pick something that looks cool and try to work with it. If you see a magic skill that you like, or a stealth skill combat, whatever, go for it. I want you to experiment, because if you're playing this game for the first few times, I can tell you from experience, when I was a noob, the best thing that I could do was just experiment with game mechanics and find different magics or different weapons that I really liked. So for your four major skills that I'm going to give you, you're going to go with Sneak, Light Armor, Blade, and Illusion. Argonians are really nice stealth characters. In fact, they're, Argonians and Khajiit are built to be stealth characters. So what you're going to do with this character is basically sneak up on people and kill them. Now you have Illusion. Illusion's kind of a support magic. It has two very important spells in them. In it. I think, oh no, sorry, three. Silence, Paralyze, and Invisibility. Okay? So when you're sneaking around, oh man, that was a hiccup. When you're sneaking around, you're going to make yourself invisible. Now, if you see a mage, you can cast Silence on them so they don't cast magic. And then, to make a target easier to hit after you've snuck up on them and attacked them, once or twice, you paralyze them. This makes it so your Argonian is going to be very good at combat. Now, the way that Oblivion works, stealth characters, I think, could have been done a little better. So, normally if you're a stealth character, you're not going to one-shot anyone. So you're going to be involved in some sort of combat, so you're going to be wearing light armor. Light armor, though, is for speed. Because when you're sneaking around, the last thing that you want to deal with is being slow. Like, heavy armor sneaking is probably one of the hardest types of things to do in this game. But, if you want to try it out, there's still that those three spots that I didn't really tell you what to use for. Now, Argonians have another interesting thing, and Khajiits do as well, where their hand-to-hand -hand skill is up a little bit uh, compared to someone else. So, if you feel like trying to punch in the beginning, you got it. You go for it. Alright? You got the, the ability... It's a little bit balanced, you can punch better. It's really nice, actually. Punching is interesting, because it drops stamina when you hit. The last thing I want to touch on is I picked Blade, just because it's my favorite for stealth combat, because swords swing faster than maces and axes. However, uh, you don't have to use Blade. You can pick Blunt if you want. And that's really it on the Argonian. I mean, you can breathe underwater. It's a cool ability. And, I mean, Argonians, to me... I think in Oblivion, I don't really like them. Neither do I like them in Skyrim, because I feel like the only thing that they have going for them is resist disease, poison, and breathing underwater, along with just some stealth skills. But even, I think Khajiits are just generally better. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. That's it for this video. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion new builds. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream vlog or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.